Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. We've all seen, <coughs> if you've been looking at the uh, Stirling engines and hydrogen and alternative energies, we've all seen this, the Stirling engine being powered, uh, in this instance, by solar energy, the differentiation in the heat. And you've probably seen this one as well, or the coffee cup engine. Um, this one is probably the simplest of the devices. Uh, it's made by a French company, I believe, or Canadian, I'm not sure which. But the idea that I uh, haven't been able to, f or the question I haven't been able to answer is how much energy is generated by these in the, qu in the pursuit of, uh, if you check the <coughs> Stirling engine, they some of the engines claim uh, 55 kilowatts. I think there's one down here. Yes, this one says 55 kilowatts being produced in terms of electricity. How much electricity is necessary uh, to produce hydrogen? And uh, one of the things that I noticed, and if you believe Wikipedia, um, it says that the electrolysis process um, Usually, electricity is consumed is more valuable than the hydrogen produced, which is why only a tiny fraction of hydrogen is currently produced this way. So, if we go back and figure out if this little device, if it's made on a larger scale, could produce enough en enough electricity or enough electricity to charge a uh, an electrolysis process, in which case we could have hydrogen. Um, so that's the first step, whether or not this can produce enough electricity to um, activate a electrolysis process. If not, then the other side of this could be um, the good work over at Purdue University, Jerry M. Woodall's university, uh, Purdue Inter University, where uh, you can see this on instructables.com, soda can hydrogen. Now, unfortunately, the guy who wrote this used uh, an unfortunate term, uh, which he says he uses liquid metal. Now, presumably, that's mercury. It's the only term I've heard of people using. Um, the only chemical I've heard people refer to liquid metal is mercury. Uh, but they do talk about gallium. <coughs> now, I don't know enough about chemistry to say what gallium is or is not, but there's a combination of using um, using the solar Stirling engines or a Stirling engine that can produce enough electricity to generate hydrogen. Um, that hydrogen then can then be burned and stored uh, or used for other processes. So that's my question to put out to the people out there who are interested in these kinds of things. If you have uh, comments, please uh, post them. Thanks, and happy computing.